What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today we have a ton of Funko news, including some really exciting One Piece Shanks news and a ton of new chases and other cool pops. So let's check it out. And before we jump into today's video, guys, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, Kraken's Collection. They bring you the latest and greatest Funko Pop pre-orders as well as other cool collectibles like fig pins, if you guys are into that. They also offer a mint guarantee shipping and as well international shipping for all my international subscribers out there. So make sure to check them out down below and use my code Skittle10 to save 10%. All right, guys, so in today's Funko news, we have a lot to show off. A lot of new things literally in the last two, three days just happened. Absolutely nuts. We have so much cool stuff to show you guys. So the first thing we're gonna show off is the new Coca-Cola Cherry Funko Pop, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Did go live, um, I believe two days ago it already went live, but we do have official glams now from Funko, which is really awesome. Um, so he's holding the cherry there and he has a smile and then one finger up like this. While this is a really cool concept, the whole foodies line is cool. It just feels like they're just throwing eyes and a mouth and hands on everything at this point. For the people who do like it, uh, kudos to you guys and uh, hopefully you guys can collect them all. This is getting nuts though. They are making a lot of the foodies line. I didn't think they were going to go this far into it, so it's just a little funny to me. Um, not something personally for me, but if you did grab it, comment down below and comment down below your overall opinions on the pop foodies line. And speaking of pop foodies, we also do have a Hershey Kisses pop. And this is what I'm talking about. I feel like anytime someone just throws something up in the air, like, hey Funko, make a Kit Kat bar. Watch, next, we're gonna have the Kit Kat bar with eyes, hands, and mouth. <laughs> I think this one's kind of cool though. I really do like the little tag they have coming out of the top like they do on the actual candy saying kisses. I think that was a really nice touch. And the tongue kind of licking up is, it's, it's a cute little funny idea, I guess. But again, it's just kind of like, it's too much. I, I feel like they're just, they're not, there's there's no real characters here. They're just making it, there's no mascots here. This is not a mascot. This is a little candy with an aluminum foil around it that they threw eyes on. So that's just genuinely how I feel about it. It's silly, unnecessary. But I mean, there's like 42 Goku, 42 Vegetas and like 42 Naruto Pops, so I can't really talk there. So it is up for pre-order also if you guys wanna grab it. Moving on guys, we do have some updates on a few things. So the Jolteon situation for WonderCon, which is a box lunch exclusive. This one I guess did not go live. I wasn't really paying attention to too much WonderCon news that weekend. I was working, I was pretty busy. Um, so online release should be happening pretty soon here within the next few days, but they are starting to show up in box lunch stores. So make sure to check your local stores. A few people have actually already been able to pick them up um, over on the west coast not sure about the east coast i'm sure it's going to follow in like a week or two um, as things are going on i don't know how they could possibly have stock delays when they WonderCon was you know talked about a month or two in advance who knows but yeah guys make sure to check your local box lunches maybe even call them to see if they're getting in jolteon if they will talk to you i know my hot topic is bigly or very very strict on their pop info for some reason so yeah, I can't call them for any new pops, but if I do come across Jolteon, maybe I'll pick one up and review it for you guys. We will see. Now, um, another really cool thing is we have a Diamond Collection variant of Ariel that should be coming to Hot Topic um, this later this summer. So essentially, this is the new Disney Princess Ariel, part of the Disney Princesses line um, that I actually showed off in a Funko Pop hunt yesterday. Um, so yeah, that one should be getting like a Diamond Collection variant for Hot Topic in the summer, so stay tuned for that one. For anyone who does collect the Pop keychains, we do have a few new Target exclusive t-shirts coming soon. So we have a Minecraft one with Creepers and TNT on it. Kind of a cool little shirt, I do like that one. It says extremely explosive, which is cool. Um, we also do have a Black Light Spider-Man with a little um, Pocket Pop Target exclusive coming soon. I really do like that Spider-Man t-shirt. I definitely wear that. And some of the Funko t-shirts are actually really comfortable. I will give Funko that. They are really comfortable sometimes. Um, and then the last one I believe we have is the Mandalorian. And we have the child and the Mandalorian themselves. And this one says this is the way. And then the other one has Mandalorian holding the child. So if you guys are interested in any of these, stay tuned. Um, you should be able to find them in Target stores relatively soon. For any fans of the Wiggles, yes, I did say the Wiggles. We do have Emma from the Wiggles coming soon. I was kind of surprised they made Emma versus the other, you know, three main Wiggles that we're used to over them. I've never even heard of Emma until today, so I looked her up and I was like, okay, yeah, she's an actual person on the show. I don't know if she's just a new character or if she's always been there and I just never knew. 
Anyways, my brother was more of the fan of the Wiggles. Like, uh, like the only song that I know is like the fruit salad one, Yummy Yummy. That's literally the only one I can remember. But this is her kind of like in a dancing pose, kind of going like this, which is cool. I just think it's really interesting that they made it from the Wiggles. So maybe we'll start getting more like childhood shows like that one. For anybody who does collect Funkoverse, we do have two new Marvel ones. So we have an Avengers one uh, featuring Black Panther, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America, as well as a little expansion pack with Thanos there. So these ones are are up on uh, Amazon if you do want to pick them up for pre-order. Uh, they do have a release date of July 1st, I believe. I don't know if other stores will kind of get them sooner than Amazon or vice versa. We'll see. But the closest uh, release date that I do have is July 1st for you guys. Funkoverse, again, it's just kind of one of those games that I just personally, I don't care for what that Funko has made. It doesn't really interest me at all. I'd rather just play an online game or something like that. But it's an interesting concept, and it can get you little characters, which is cool, little other pop figures, which is neat. So, uh, does anybody play the Funkoverse? I'd love to know. For anyone collecting the Imperial Batman line, they have another Imperial pop that is limited again. And it's so annoying. This line, honestly, it's not even fun to collect anymore. I really thought they were going to stop at the common and the metallic versions of those, but they just keep making and making and making them, which is really annoying, to be honest. So, it, this is a first look at Funko Asia exclusive Imperial Palace uh, Joker. So, he basically has kind of like a purple, all purple suit body there. So, this is part of the 21... 2021 Summer Convention, new sticker there as well. Um, another look at it is the, a potential look of him in his box there with that new sticker. I do like the kind of meshing purple and pink there, but again, it's just another metallic joker. We already have one of those and it's just, they're just milk in this line now and it's not even, it's not even a fun line. I thought it was cool, unique and creative at first and then now it's just kind of like they're just taking it too far and I genuinely don't find it fun to collect anymore because some of these variants are just ridiculous. Like the Robin Chase, $500, the blue Batman metallic one, $300, this Joker is probably going to be $300. Like it's not fun anymore. I, I really like this line and then it's just way too expensive to collect now. Next up guys, we do have some new Marvel chases of some really cool pops. So the first one we have is Venomized Ironheart here, uh, US retailer to be determined. I have a feeling it might be like pop in a box or maybe, I feel like GameStop doesn't get too many chases like this though. So either pop in a box off the top of my head or maybe Hot Topic. That would be my best guess. But I feel like it's going to be pop in a box because they get a lot of the Venomized chases and things like that. So look at that glow though. Absolutely amazing. So the credit goes to I'm Filming um, over on Instagram, I think. Yes, uh, look at that glow though. It's very interesting. So it is kind of really dark across the body, but the face is very bright and vibrant with the blue... Um, little slight yellow and then the big white skull looking it looks good i think i think it's a really cool glow again gonna be one of those you know number like 60 70 dollar chases unfortunately for anybody collecting this line a lot of people are disappointed that it's not part of the regular venom line a lot of, i guess not a lot of people like the maximum venom like not a lot of people like the box i think it's a cool box i guess i don't have any from that actual line yet the only one i want i think is that a anime exclusive spider carnage is that what it's called um, and I think it's part of the Maximum Venom line, or I might have that wrong. Anyways, the other Marvel chase that we have is Red Hulk has finally been revealed here with the glow chase. Look at that red vibrant glow with the yellow and the white teeth and everything. Oh, that's a cool glow. Again, it's going to be one of those $60, $70 chases. But anybody who's a Red Hulk fan, this is awesome because I believe there's like a metallic Red Hulk that's like very expensive. And then the common ones, I think what, is like 50, 60 bucks right now off the top of my head. I don't know, it's been a while. Last I saw it was at $30, but I can only assume it's been a year or two more now. So it's a little bit more expensive. And especially with these two new ones coming out, it's only going to raise the price of the other ones because they're going to be, they're most likely vaulted right now as well as more, going to be more sought after because everybody's wanna, going to want to keep the set together is what I'm trying to say. So um, overall, I think it's cool that we got another Red Hulk now. So everybody gets a chance at a Red Hulk, which is neat. And then the glow chase factor as well is just really cool. So I might have to go after this one. I do love Hulk. He's an awesome character. Uh, plus it's a glow chase and it looks amazing. So I might have to check this one out. Comment down below your thoughts on these two new Marvel chases. For any Inuyasha fans, we do have a new exclusive. Um, I'm going to try to say this name, 
K Kirara, is that how you say that? Um, which is blocked and it's going to Hot Topic. I was surprised they went and made more exclusives because if I'm, if I have my information correct here, let me go, I thought they vaulted some of the Inuyasha Pops. Let me see. Yeah, they vault, they vaulted some from 2020. Like they vaulted the original Inuyasha one, the first one that they came out with. Um, they vaulted a couple of them, which is weird. I thought that was really weird that they just, you know, a year, it hasn't even fully been a year, I'm pretty sure, they're automatically vaulted. So that's nuts. Um, and I was surprised they were making more. I thought they were kind of finished with the line after they started vaulting a couple of them, for a while at least. But this is pretty cool. Stay tuned, there's no release date yet, but when there is one, I'll update you guys. Moving on for my parks and recreation fans, we do have a whole new line with so many crazy exclusives. This is nuts, guys. So, personally, I have not seen this show, so there's not really too much I can talk about on these actual pops for you guys. Um, my mom's seen parts of the show. I don't think she's seen the full show, but she does find it funny. I saw some parts, and some parts are funny to me, but it's not one of those shows I've watched religiously, kind of like The Office. I could tell you more about The Office than I could tell you about Parks and Rec, unfortunately. But... We do have a ton of new exclusives. So I do know that's at least Ron Swanson there. Um, he does have a couple different pops there, including a Chase variant with the hat and headband situation just being different. Um, these look like, it's a pretty cool wave though. We've got six pops there. And then the next actual image guys we have is all the exclusives, which is crazy. Big Apple Collectibles did get a new exclusive as well. So you will have to pre-order it from them to get a chance at that chase. As well as there's a Target exclusive two pack, a Funko Shop exclusive Ron again, as well as a Calendars Go, oh, what's his name? I can, come on, Andy. It's Andy, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that one did go live. The, the Funko Shop exclusive one has not go, gone live yet. Chase Big Apple has gone live if you guys want to try to pre-order that and the two pack did go live as well So most of these did go live and you can pre-order all of these um, As well if you guys are looking for them, but for the most part again I haven't seen the show so there's not too much I can say on them other other than they are available for pre-order and some of the exclusives did go live on their respective websites All right guys, so now what most of you guys have probably been waiting for we have the Shanks Big Apple exclusive Chase Funko Pop He's so He's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> He's so good. Listen, I know I haven't gotten that far into One Piece, but I do know a good amount that happens later on um, during One Piece because my brother, he's all caught up on it. He's a huge One Piece fan, one of his favorite animes, and he tells me things all the time. So I know a lot more than I should. Um, so that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not big on spoilers. I don't really care that too much. I still enjoy it either way. I've never been one to care too much about spoilers, depending on what it is, I guess. Anyways, yes, are we all bummed that it did go to Big Apple Collectibles because they're not known, like I talked about in my previous video talking about Shanks, they're not known for getting pre-orders on time, a lot of delays, a lot of bad customer service. There's been talks of them kind of trying to change that in the last year under new management. Not a lot still has changed for the most part. I have no idea what's fully going on with the situation. I haven't talked to them personally. Um, all I know is I definitely did order this from them. So they have two options for anybody wondering. I believe it's still available on their website at the time of me making this video. Um, I ordered their Chase Bundle, which was $90, very expensive. I was hoping they'd have like a combo maybe for like 40 or 50 bucks. That would have been more of my speed. But the normal comp or the normal exclusive with just no hat is $15 plus shipping. So let's say you spent $6 on shipping, you're paying $21 for that pop unless you you know, spend enough to get actual free shipping, which I believe is an order of $75 or more. So if you're spending $21 on one pop and then the chase variant, it makes sense. At the end of the day, it's just so expensive. Um, you get six and the chase for 90 bucks and free shipping, which is not too bad. So I paid about like 90, $91 after everything is said and done. I really wanted the chase. I love Shanks as a character, even though I haven't you know, technically watched him in the show. I do know a lot about him, which is awesome. And I love this character when I first met him, as well as my favorite character is Ace as well, for anybody wondering. So I am currently on episode 111. I have a lot going on most of the time, so it's really hard to sit down and watch an anime that's so involved and that inv like requires so much attention to detail in it. Um, but I promise you guys, I am going to get back to him. I am thoroughly enjoying One Piece, and I really do love the show. Um, but yes, I had to order this, so I do have a Chase bundle and a non-Chase coming soon. So, in terms of when it's going to come, guys, I saw Big Apple Collectibles actually say on Funko's thread, August this year. 
So August is when it should be coming. I saw some people saying July. I saw, I don't know what, I don't know if they're right, but I got this directly from Big Apple Collectibles. I even took a screenshot of it just so you guys know. This is over on Funko's thread. I don't know if they deleted their comment. If, you know, they might later, who knows, if uh, there's shipping delays. Just know, order at your own risk at the end of the day because they do, um, they do have a lot of shipping delays. They do have a lot, long time orders still standing from other customers. If you look at my previous videos, there was a couple horror stories in the comments as well. So again, just order at your own risk guys, just so you know, but I did order. I'm going to show you guys my honest opinion when I get it. This is my first time ordering from them. I don't know if this is going to get delayed. Typically they are pretty good with their own exclusives and I heard they ship in um, protectors and bubble wrap. So they ship really good. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. It's just a matter of getting your order. So it's supposed to be August 2021 again. Maybe they mistyped and meant 2025. Who knows? We will see. I don't know. We could get it in four years. We could get it in a couple months. We could get it in 10 years. Who knows? It's Big Apple. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this Funko News, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. Comment down below your thoughts on everything in this video. Did you guys pick up anything new this week? Did you guys go to the store, use your hot cash, box lunch money? I'd love to hear from you guys in your latest pickup. Did you get any grails? I'd love to know. That's pretty much it though. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. We've come such a long way in the three and a half years I've been doing this and it's absolutely nuts. So again, huge shout out to you guys. You guys make all kinds of cool things happen over here. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade and you can make a ton of friends as well as make sure to follow my social media. It's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all at Skittle Rampage. All right. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.